A square. Sam, while everything is possible, Hoboken Mayor does not seem to have a political bone to pick and agree unless she's crazy. She can't can't see her making this up. She's not a career politician. It would seem she came forward now because it was space for her to make the accusation ac- accusation accusation and not get further penalized by uh, Crispy. And also because second wave of Sandy money is being lined up and she knew she wasn't getting any. Reed Christie is reaching out to Melman and Rove uh, because donors complained he needs a better team. For laughs, read that also the governor could not bring himself to watch the boss parody, but his son watched it and thought it was funny. And the Don't. fates continue to beat Christie crappy weather for his inauguration day. Don't you think that in order for her to retroactively write a diary, the mayor of Hoboken, I mean, as you said, she but she would have to be crazy. She would have to be so crazy that it, it's hard to imagine she could become like demonstrate enough competency to become mayor of Hoboken to begin with, right? Look, I mean, I mean, that is if you look at the a, way the lieutenant governor got up there and denied with this this sort of feign, just sort of I am yes, yes, shocked yes. that yes. the idea that someone could withhold Sandy money as if it was so beyond her capacity to even imagine that someone would ever do this. And then the idea that she would be accused of it. I'm going to speak in such a slow, (laughs) over-enunciated, breathless way to register just how shocked I am that the accusation could exist never mind be aimed at me look people are capable and the Christie administration seems to be um, you know item number one in the evidence docket of really bald faced lying in public but you just you have to just look at this in a complete cost benefit analysis. What is the cost of the Hoboken mayor's lying versus what is the benefit for her? I'm just going to go wild on the benefit. This makes her a statewide figure and it's going to catapult her career in New Jersey politics. You'd have to be fairly um, deluded to think that's the case too, because it's not like Chrissy doesn't have a bunch of allies. Extra hits on MSNBC. <clears throat> that's what it is. Extra hits on MSNBC versus the downside. Having your political career completely destroyed, hoping that you're a good enough fabricator of actual documents that the federal authorities who are sure to investigate you because you've called for them to investigate you, in fact, investigated you, uh, your claim 24 hours later, will not be able to figure this out <laughs> using f- literally probably forensics on the ink to determine the date of those documents. Um, that's the, the, that's the, the opportunity. Co- that's the, the, the thing you're weighing there. If you're the lieutenant governor and you actually did this, you've got a choice, deny, 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 or go to jail because you don't, you don't get any more legal risk by lying to a press conference. You've got, you, you have all the legal risk there. The only thing you're doing is trying to, you know, maybe, maybe salvage something. So, You know, that's the way I go about assessing the risk reward of both of their actions. 